In the basement of the Bamboo Bamboo restaurant in Stockholm, Nicola orders his associate to stop whistling, grabbing a bag of drugs and asking him to wait for his text before bringing in the rest. Inside, when the buyer asks Nicola for the rest of the 30 kilograms, he asks for the payment first. Meanwhile, the chief of police Joseph tracking their movements on a giant screen in his office gives the order to storm the place and go after all the suspects. As the police storm the restaurant, the buyer makes the payment and Nicola calls his associate to bring in the rest of the cargo. However, it's too late as the police enter the back room and bust the meeting arresting everyone. But Joseph is not too happy to hear that they are missing the drugs. Meanwhile, back in the basement, Luca, an employee at the restaurant begins recording when he sees a masked man taking the drugs from Nicola's associate and putting it in the back of his car. Realizing he has been spotted recording, he begins to panic and drives away smashing the barrier to the basement. Going back to early in the morning, we see Connie in the seat of the cockpit of an airplane trying to land at the Orlando International Airport. Just then he realizes he has to drop his daughter, Julia to school. She tells him they have to go to her mother and Thomas to pick up her gym clothes as she has gym class today. Taking her to her mom's boyfriend's place, he reminds Julia of her upcoming birthday and asks her what she wants this year. When she asks him for a horse, he blabbers about the difficulty of owning a horse, not approving it. But he promises to figure something out. Arriving at her mom's place Julia goes inside to get her gym clothes. Ayla asks Connie if it's alright with him if she takes Julia to Thomas's place, telling him about a horse farm there, and how Julia is looking forward to trying horses. But Connie reminds her about his time with Julia, asking her to pick her up tomorrow as discussed earlier. Just then Thomas arrives and comes to know about Julia not being able to make it tonight. Connie expresses the turn of events on unfortunate bad timing, before leaving with Julia but not before he pretends to scratch Thomas's car. Walking away Thomas does not seem happy with his situation. Later, working at the electronic mall Connie asks the floor manager for extra hours, telling him he needs the money to pay for his daughter's writing classes. While pointing out and correcting his mispronunciation of the word daughter he asks him to get back to work and focus on selling more air fryers. At the end of the shift, while walking away Connie is stopped by Diana, asking him if he has seen anyone who works here, and can help her pick a headset. Trying hard not to give himself away, he pretends to look for a salesman and then recommends a headset, telling her they work great for noise cancellation and is something he uses himself. As Diana asks him if you would have to be nitwits to work in such a dump, Connie agrees with him. Just then the floor manager calls out his name and shouts at him for not listening, reminding him about the extra work hours he asked for. He gives him the address and tells him about the installation and calibration that has to be done too for the TV. Connie goes to the place and meets Mimi, who tells him she can't be with him for long for the installation and has to leave soon. She asks him to hurry and finish up. Later, seeing Connie still setting things up for her, who does not even hear her entering the room with his headset, she asks him how much time he needs. Connie suggests it won't be long, telling her about a new feature of being able to pair with your phone and run slideshow on TV. Mimi tells her she needs to go and will be back in half an hour, asking him to take as much time as he needs. Moments later, Luca arrives at the place, looking suspicious and watching behind him to ensure no one is following him. He calls out Mimi's name, telling her how she would not believe what he saw on the way home. He goes to his bedroom holding his phone in his hand and looking for a place to hide it. Meanwhile Connie is busy with his headset fully on, loud enough not to hear the scuffle behind him, as Luca fights for his life with a man in a black mask. As he goes to look for support for the frame he finds Luca on the ground bleeding to death and discovers someone has drilled a hole in his neck with a screwdriver. Hearing a noise, he picks the screwdriver and gets up, only to get whacked from behind, and drop next to Luca. Sometime later, Mimi returns and finds Connie holding the screwdriver next to Luca with blood all over his clothes. Connie is arrested and taken to the police station, where he meets Diana from earlier as well as Helena and Jorna. As he shares his story with them, telling them he is innocent Haas walks in and introduces himself as his lawyer, informing him he will be representing him from now on. Meanwhile, in the other room, Diana recalls meeting Connie being nice to her earlier in the day, expressing her surprise at seeing him as a murderer now. Jorna thinks Connie murdered Luca after he found him stealing in the house. After Haas promises to take care of him, Connie is soon arrested and sentenced to eight years in prison for the murder of Luca. While being taken to his cell, one of the officers advises him to go for the apple. But Connie does not know what it means. On his first day in prison, he is stabbed by Muse in his hands while fighting with one of the other inmates. As the fight ends and the inmates are separated from each other, Connie is left alone wondering if there is anyone who will tend to his wound. During her next visit, Ayla brings him a photo of Julia with Thomas. Seeing him surprised, she tells him he asked for a paper photo and this is the best she can do. 
Connie promises Julia he has done nothing and he will be out, soon telling her about his lawyer filing an appeal. Moments later, Connie tears away Thomas from the picture and sticks the rest on the wall inside his cell. Sometime later in the laundry room in the basement, he overhears Narinder getting mad at Muse for losing their pilot, and with him now in the infirmary, their only chance to escape from the country to Venezuela is gone. When Muse tells him he beat Sam for using the tunnel for personal sorties outside the prison, Narinder asks him to fix what he broke in three days or else they will be stuck in the prison forever. Meanwhile, Haas comes back and breaks the news to Connie that his appeal was rejected. When he asks him if he is going to re-appeal, Haas reminds him there has to be some ground for re-appealing. Connie asks him if the police have found Luca's phone. But Luca asks him to focus on his new life in prison now. However, Connie thanks him for his services and leaves. Soon thereafter, Connie uses the tunnel Muse was talking about in the basement to get out of the prison. On his way out, he manages to dodge a train and finds a phone inside one of the bags meant for Narinder. He goes to Mimi's house looking for Luca's phone, his only chance to prove his innocence and get out of prison. Mimi finds him hiding in her cupboard and begins to attack. In the middle of her whooping, Connie tells her he did not kill her husband and on the day of the crime, he was talking about his phone. Before leaving her he hands her his number and asks her to call him if she hears anything about Luca's phone. Meanwhile, Diana too finds out Luca worked at Bamboo Bamboo Restaurant, the same place where there was a drug haul recently. Helena congratulates Diana for her work and asks her to keep digging. Returning to prison, Connie decides to keep the phone with himself. But Muse finds out about his private sortie through the tunnel behind his back and decides to punish him. He leaves him inside the washer going away for his therapy session. Coming back after his therapy, finding him rushed when Narinder asks him why he looks so nervous, Muse discovers Connie's picture dressed as a pilot and thinks he knows how to fly planes. He rushes back to the basement and takes Connie out before he dies in the washer. Narinder shares his plan for a prison break with Connie and asks him if he can fly his jet to Venezuela on the coming Thursday. Connie tells him he could make it work. Meanwhile, he comes to know Julia has finally got a horse from Thomas and he does not like it. Mimi stumbles upon Luca's phone by chance. Finding it completely drained out of battery, she puts it on charge before going to see who is knocking at the door. She finds Helena at the door, asking if she can have a moment with her. Finding a dating show on TV, Helena commends her for moving on. But Mimi changes the mode, thinking she has changed the channel. As the mobile is switched on it connects with the TV starting the slideshow. In the middle of Helena telling Mimi the case has been closed, as she asks her about Luca's phone, Mimi sees the video from the night of the murder playing on the TV and sees Helena in the mask. Helena turns out to see the source of Mimi's shock and barely misses the video. Telling her that she has not found the phone when Mimi asks her why she is looking for it as the case has been closed now, Helena tells her to take care of herself. Walking outside Helena calls Jorna, asking him to wiretap Mimi's phone. As he steps away from his desk, Diana finds it weird. Soon thereafter, in the middle of her escape from the city, Mimi calls Connie. She tells him she has the phone and knows who the killer is, as well as the reason for his murder. She then tells him the murderer is Helena from the police. When he knows she is scared of the phone, he offers to take it from her. She asks him to meet her at Galleria now if he wants the phone. Meanwhile, Narinder has an update about his prison break for Connie and asks Muse to find him. Finding him in the basement before he was to leave, Muse takes him to meet Narinder. Narinder tells them their flight has been moved up and that they are leaving in 10 minutes if they have any chance of taking that flight to Venezuela. As he shares his plan with them they are out of the prison, on their way to his girlfriend Camilla waiting at the airport. Outside Narinder asks Connie to drive. Back in the office, Helena comes to know about the call to Connie and runs out to meet them at the Galleria. Driving Narinder and Muse to the airport, Connie sees Mimi waiting outside the Galleria and crashes his car to get out of the van. He meets Mimi and comes to know Mimi does not think he killed her husband anymore. As she takes the phone out for him, Helena arrives at the scene and watches them meeting from the distance. Mimi finds the phone drained again and begins to narrate what she saw. Connie takes the phone and asks her to be careful. In the meantime, Helena arrives at the spot and runs after Connie. But Narinder stops the van and takes him away before Helena can shoot him. Inside the van, Narinder is furious at Kony for almost ruining his plan and tells him to stay in sight at all times for the next 50 minutes. Away from their sight, Connie messages Haas asking to meet him at the airport. Meanwhile, Helena decides to chase down Narinder in her car but only manages to be shot at and stopped by Muse. She calls in for help, requesting all units at the airport. Arriving at the airport, they meet Camille, who has some gripe with them for being late but is happy to see them in the end. After boarding the plane, Connie finds himself inside the cockpit completely clueless. Muse reminds him he is watching him. Connie taxis the plane on the runway for a while, 
before jumping out of the plane and running away, leaving Narinder wondering what is happening. When the police units arrive at the airport, Helena is there and asks them to report back to her as soon as they find her. Diana follows behind her. Meanwhile, Narinder jumps off the taxing plane and runs after Connie and Muse pulls the brake, grinding the plane to a halt. He leaves promising to get a new pilot. Inside the airport, Connie sees Haas in the lobby and tells him he has the phone which proves he is innocent, and names Helena as the murderer. But he is not heard past the thick glass. Realizing Haas can't hear him, he gestures to him to wait for him. However, Narinda arrives at the scene and pulls a gun on him for betraying his trust. But before he can fire, police fire at him dropping his gun before placing him under arrest. Connie manages to run away with police chasing behind him. After gaining some distance between the officers, he sees Haas and decides to go after him. Arriving at the other side of the terminal, Connie spots Haas and begins to run towards him, only to be stopped by Diana and Helena. Seeing Diana hesitating, Helena aims and shoots at Connie, hitting him in the chest. She then steals the phone before running away as Diana hears Connie asking for his phone back. Meanwhile, Muse sees Camille being taken away by the police with the bags of money, making him run away from the scene. As Connie is being taken away to the hospital, Diana asks Joas for his permission to speak to Connie. When asked why, she shows the evidence of payment for 30 kilos of drugs she has found during the bust at Bamboo Bamboo. Helena brings up her lack of experience. But Diana asks Joseph for his permission. He, however, refuses, reminding her the case has been closed now. Meanwhile, Connie is given a high dose of morphine to make him relax. Moments later, he meets Julia and asks her if she remembers the appeal he talked about, telling her it has been rejected and he will have to stay in prison for longer. She tells him she has returned the horse as she does not want him to stay mad at Thomas. Soon the police take her away from him. Not far away, Helena talks to someone on the call and tells him she will take care of Connie by the end of the day. She soon arrives at the hospital and manages to trick the officer and gain access to Connie's room. On her way home, Diana decides to go to the hospital. Now inside his room, Helena apologizes to Connie for what she is about to do, telling him he was at the wrong place and wrong time, something he can only blame himself for. However, before she can administer a shot of sodium cyanide she hears Diana outside and hides right before Diana comes inside. Noticing a needle sticking out of his hand, she asks Connie if he is alone in the room, before checking the room by opening the door and finding Helena. In the fight that ensues, Helena manages to wrestle Diana's gun away. She shoots herself in the shoulder and shares her plan to frame Diana for trying to kill her. However, Connie ruins her plan by knocking her out by hitting her on her head. Before she gets up, they manage to escape the hospital by jumping out of the window and driving away. Moments later, Helena walks into the control room and asks for any lead on the fugitives and is disappointed to know they have disappeared outside the woods inside city limits. Meanwhile, Connie takes Diana to the mall where he used to work. There they come to know they are now fugitives on the run. The next morning, Connie tells her he has a plan and it's going to work, as he stares at a TV. Soon they arrive at Mimi's house, where he tells her about the backup feature of the TV that stores all the media it plays. As they realize they have no other way to get the data off the motherboard, they take the TV with them to show to Haas. Reaching Ruck's hotel, they see Helena and Haas walking into the hotel together, and Connie figures that must be the reason for his appeal getting rejected, they are both working together. He manages to follow them to the penthouse where he sees them selling the missing cocaine to a buyer. When he tells Diana what he saw she finds a way to call the police. Back in the police headquarters, as they all leave for the Rux Hotel, Joseph calls Helena, who is surprised to know someone has called the police about their location. She hangs up the call telling Joseph she is near the location and will see him there. As the police arrive at the hotel, Helena takes them away to another location. Diana decides to take the TV to Joseph and show him the evidence. Meanwhile, Haas makes the sale and collects the money at the penthouse. On their way down, Muse shows up with a gun and blows the TV away, before getting taken down by the police. As the police arrive at the penthouse, Diana begs Joseph to believe her, telling him she is the one who called the police and has the evidence on TV to prove it's Helena, who is behind Luca's death. But Joseph walks away. Meanwhile, Connie finds Haas being taken away by the police. He grabs the bag of money left behind, and on his way out throws it to Muse, calling him to square all his debts with him. He arrives at the penthouse, only to find Helena tasering Diana as she threatens to expose her. Thinking ahead, Connie takes the TV away and goes into the server room. He manages to connect the TV to the monitor inside the elevator. With Joseph inside the elevator with everyone, he asks Helena if she has anything to do with Luca's murder, something Diana alleged. She denies her claims calling it an act of desperation. 
In the meanwhile, with the police knocking on the door of the server room, Connie manages to access the file logs, finds the video, and presses enter. As the video comes alive inside the elevator, Joseph sees the video of Helena at the crime scene with her mask off. She tries to block him from seeing the video and Connie is taken into custody in the server room. She begs Joseph to discuss the matter. But he has had enough of her and places a cuff on her hands, taking her away to the waiting police car outside. As the movie ends, Joseph apologizes to Diana for not listening to her. We see Connie being taken away as he shoots smiles at Diana and in return she shoots smiles the size of rockets back at him.